Hey guys, this is Anshul from CF Design Tools and just recording a quick tutorial video on how to use a CF accept terms checkbox on a two-step order form. Now, when you use a one-step order form, single-step order form, you, you can add as many elements you want and you can also control the order of them and everything. But when it comes to a two-step checkout, you are pretty much limited to what, what comes out of the box. So, you know, and in case you have a product or service which requires your customers to check the uh, terms and conditions and agree to those and have a checkbox, uh, there's, there's no option available out of the box. So to, to achieve that functionality, we created this add-on. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first step of the process would be to copy the code that you see below this video and paste it inside of settings, tracking code, and into the footer code. Now, once we have done that, uh, we'll come back to the editor and add a checkbox element uh, from ClickFunnels editor itself. So as you can see, you know, there's an element called checkbox headline. We'll just go ahead and uh, add it to the page. Now, now once uh, we have done it, once we have done that, what we'll do is um, click, go into the settings of the the checkbox headline and click on the pound icon and change the title to CFTT except terms. Okay. Let's go ahead and click update. You can also copy and paste it from the action summary, which is right beside this uh, video. Make sure that you do not have any spaces before the letters. Now, once we have um, hit update, that's pretty much all we need to do. But although there are a couple of things that you would want to change before, uh, you know, you um, make this live to your customers. First, obviously, would be the text of the headline. Uh, you know, you would want to have something like I accept the terms and conditions and privacy policy and then, you know, link them to the respective pages by selecting the text and clicking on this link icon. Um, okay, that then, you know, you would also want to adjust the margin or top margin like uh, it is too much for now. So, you know, um, we'll just go ahead and reduce it to 10 and then um you know make sure that it is required by default it is required but make sure that you know it is required to accept the terms otherwise you know people may just make the purchase without you know buying it uh, without agreeing to terms and um, conditions now once we have done that let's go ahead and hit a, a save and preview it to see how this looks and functions okay so Okay, we have everything that we need here and then let's go ahead and hit continue and then as you can see we have the headline right bes be before the complete order button. Now since we have made it required, uh, ideally it shouldn't allow us to complete the order without checking this box first. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, you know, we have a red border uh, asking us to, you know, check the, uh, you know, the checkbox before moving forward so i hope uh, this helps you um, understand uh, how to use this um, you know add-on on your funnel pages uh, thank you